So, today we are going to solve the MCQs of chapter number 3 Creating Animation Using Synfig Now in this video, the first 11 MCQs are the textual MCQs while remaining 10, that is there are total 21 MCQs remaining 10 are some of the MCQs which I thought it could be asked so I have covered it over here So we begin Which of the following term represents the object or objects to be displayed over a period of time the answer is frame question number two each small change in the image is created and then displayed in a sequence in which of the following technique now there are different techniques from which the answer is frame by frame animation these three things we have is not there in our course cell animation twinning and morphing i have explained all these techniques in video of this chapter so here the answer is a question number three which of the following timing is the default setting for the end time default setting is five seconds five s which uh, means uh, whenever you create any animation by default it will be created uh, of uh, 5 seconds fine uh, question number 4 which of the following terms represents a frame that defines the change to an object's property ok that is known as keyframe fine fifth question which of the following represents an indicator used to represent wave point here the answer is diamond that is actually not a diamond but square type of shape which the textbook uh, author calls diamond shape it is yellowish orange shape in animation edit mode the canvas outline color changes to which of the following color it changes into red color red border is applied over the canvas when we go to animation edit mode fine question number seven which of the following terms define the length of the time in the document answer is keyframe question number eight which of the following is correct entry in the time slider here all looks the same but what you have to say is first figure will be representing second ok so it should show S so this two are showing S so either it could be this or this and second figure should show the frame so here it is showing again S so this is wrong and this is correct answer 3 S 9 F fine question number 9 which of the following term represents an effect wherein the image transforms into another this is used in many of the movies nowadays is that effect is known as morphing this also I have explained in the video very well which of the following is the default setting for frame per second the default setting is 24 frames per second Question number 11 Which of the following term represents the study of movement and motion of object that have joints such as walking man or running leopard Ok Now here we have seen simple animation in which circle was moving But if I want to show human being moving then I can't just shift that figure from here to there there should be movement from the joints right then that technique is known as kinematics question number 12 this is a visual change over time wherein the digital image are played one after the another to create a moving effect that is known as animation the first position and the last position of the object has to be specified in which of the uh, animation type then here you get two options frame by frame animation 
and another one is key key frames but when you know both the position starting and ending at that time you can use the technique called key frames question number 14 dash is an action which calculates the number of frames between fr key frames and the path of the action that thing is known as twinning effect okay the spelling which is given here is wrong it should be t w i n i n g it should not be double e but uh, it's used in the textbook so i have used the spelling same spelling the color of the circle can be changed later on using the dash panel then param panel uh, now param panel is uh, such a thing uh, that is parameters right on the left hand side bottom side you can see parameter panel from wherein you can change the properties of that object f p s stands for what it stands for frames per second by default each second is divided into how many frames it is divided into 24 frames before rendering click on the dash to leave editing mode you have to click on animation edit mode that is that uh, red color man which is there you have to click so it will become green color man in key frame panel length indicates what it indicates duration now to repeat the animation dash is used it is known as time loop the method which we use is known as time loop it repeats the same action looping means round and round then on the time track panel there are orange diamonds known as what they are known as wave points remember the word wave point so here we complete the mcqs of this chapter thank you goodbye